Hey guys! Today's video is going to be all about my utility closet makeover and give you some ideas for those small Hi guys! Today's video is going to be how I show you how I make over my utility closet. I will show you some storage solutions if you have a small closet in the hallway in a small house and we're going to do it all on a budget. to declutter and get your spaces organized but are overwhelmed with just where to start here is the first thing figure out how you want to best use this space once you figured out how you want to use this space you want to have a unified theme going on in this closet so that it's appealing to you and it gives you motivation every time you see it to keep staying on track and maintain the organization in that closet as well as help everything look organized and have their home. So this is what I've got going on so far and I am loving the transformation that's taking place because everything is now having a home and I am so excited my husband looked in here and he was like my gosh this looks great next thing is assess how you want everything laid out so my closet had shelving already and I had to kind of evaluate if I wanted to keep that shelving or just some of the shelving and I ended up taking some of the bottom shelving to make room for some art bins that I had and my art cart that I had as well to fit under there and just give me more room to have more of my art supplies in this closet. Luckily there are stores like the Dollar Tree that have beautiful bins that look fantastic for organization. You can have like the locker bins that I have that I placed in my closet. They're white and easy to add labels and just help unify this space. I also bought a Walmart shoe organizer and this was under $5 and I am using this shoe organizer to sort mostly all of my loose items such as pencils and markers. By using a shoe organizer that helps me maximize every square inch of this closet. The next thing is to eliminate the extra. So evaluate every single thing that you are wanting to store in your closet and figure out whether you've used it within the past six months to the year. If you have not touched it and it's in good condition, you may want to think about donating it or giving it away to a family member or someone that you know will make good use of whatever it is that you have. And if it's not in good condition, then it's safe to go ahead and throw in the trash. All of this is going to the, either to the dump or to Goodwill. Another thing that you can do to keep your closet organized is to add labels. I love labels. It helps me stay focused on what that bin is for. So if I mark the bin artwork, all that needs to be in that bin is artwork. If I mark the bin paint, that's all that needs to be in there is paint, nothing else. Because if I start putting anything extra other than paint, then that's when I start to create clutter. I made my labels using some clear sticker paper and this is by the Silhouettes brand. It's all I could find at Hobby Lobby. I know Walmart sells some Avery clear and some white sticker paper so you may have that on hand and all you have to do is print them out, cut them out and stick them onto your bin. You want to make sure you maintain it and the best way to maintain it is to check on your closet every month or every three months. Just make sure that all the bins have what it is labeled on the bin and just keep doing that every month or every three months at a time just to help 
maintain this space tidy. closet, that utility closet that has been driving you absolutely nuts and get it organized on a budget. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to get more videos just like this. I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah, you like that you can do it by yourself? <laughs>